Good morning and good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Morning Bro. This is the April Fool's Day edition, although today we're going to be talking about a real subject. Okay Cupid, it's a thing, and they've blocked the Mozilla browser, Firefox, because the new CEO of Mozilla once gave money to, Prop 8, to a Prop 8 campaign. But the DC's Chuck went back through the OK Cupid founders' uh, donation records, and it turns out they've been giving to a few uh, anti-gay candidates themselves, including a representative who backed a constitutional amendment, similar to Prop 8, and uh, this young senator, Barack Obama, who, who as a Christian, president? was against gay marriage. Until 2012. And, yeah. and those donations all preceded his change in, in tenor, which was marriages between a man and a woman. And OK Cupid is like, I don't know, it's like a hookup site, right? Or like, or is it a dating site? What's Bedford, it? what is it? <laughs> it's a horrible place. It's good to know. Are you gonna boycott Mozilla? Well, actually, um, you know. <laughs> when you log into OK Cupid? I'm gonna, I'm gonna boycott Mozilla because it crashes all the time and is a terrible browser. <laughs> I, I can't imagine how insufferable it must be to be lectured on morality by the MySpace of hookup sites. If you look at the dating websites, you got like the upper tier, which is like you know, Match.com, and then e the high class ones with the e really glossy adverts. And I don't know exactly where Farmers Only stands. And J-Date. J-Date. J-Date was like the original. J-Date is lower tier. No, that was like the original. Where does Tinder and Grinder fall ab above oh, or those, below? Those are for trash. Okay, <laughs> okay, good. So OkCupid's okay, a middle ground. Above those yeah, sites. Actually, I think uh, I think some people who work here are on Tinder. I just yeah. like that this this entire story is based around basically nerds who aren't having sex, arguing with each other. This is like the greatest internet conversation ever. The yeah, okay, Cupid guys might be having sex. Oh, I thought you were talking about us. No, I'm talking about no, I'm not talking about us. I'm talking <laughs> about <laughs> all of you. Oh, CEO of a tech firm definitely gets laid. I would think there'd be like a dandruff radius around Silicon Valley that would keep women from entering. If you're a female in Silicon Valley, you have pretty good odds. Yeah. You can have any Silicon Valley tech programmer well, you want. I mean, I'm sure they're all terrible people, but, you know, they're <laughs> smart and they probably make a lot of money. Silicon Valley, Poundtown, USA.